Zang open pileng ara o magapus inyo. Welcome po kayo today ulit sa our daily prayer, daily devotion with Pastor Bruce. Before we begin our devotion for this morning, let us pray. Father in heaven, we want to thank you for waking us up today. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for love and care each day. Thank you for giving us blessings, health and strength together with our family. Thank you for your compassion to us. Thank you for being so faithful to us. That's why we go. We're forever grateful unto you. And I want to, we want to thank you for the blessings day after day. Forgive us of all our sins as we try to do our best to please you here, Father in heaven. We want to thank you for healing those sick people out there right now. COVID-19 patients from mild to critical cases. Heal them one by one in Jesus' name. From head to us, all of their food, let there be let their strength, let there be power. As we continue to declare, cases will go down, as our quarantine will be lowered down, and this virus will be gone in Jesus' name. We leave planet Earth in Jesus' name, especially in our country, Manila, Philippines. Fathers, we pray for those sick people. We pray for Duncan's operation. Two more cancer. Be healed in Jesus' name. And use the hands of the doctor for him to be healed from head to the sole of his tooth. Duncan will be healed in Jesus' name. Operation will be successful in Jesus' name. As I pray for Nancy Zara to heal her body from head to the sole of her foot. Let there be healing. Let there be power. Let there be strength. Let there be baby in her womb in Jesus' name. I was going to pray for uh, uh, the mom Arlene. Bless my mom, mom Arlene in Jesus' name. Heal all those sick people from cancer to tumor, from heart diseases, from high blood pressure, from asthma, from liver diseases, from stomach diseases, from brain, from anxiety. Heal them in Jesus' name. We want to thank you for your healing touch. In the name of Jesus, we pray and claim. Amen and amen. Thank you very much for always listening to our daily breath. I know as we started today, um, ano ba yung ating uh, matutupunan sa pangalan ni Jesus? You know, the name Jesus means Jesus saves or the Lord's salvation. According to Matthew one twenty one says, She will give birth to a son and you will give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. That's the name of Jesus. That's the name of Jesus. And Philippians 2.9 says, the name, that name is above every name. We need to remember there's not merely the word Jesus because it's the proper authority. It is the one that behind that name, Jesus. The name of Jesus. And as you remember, Acts 4.12 says, there is no other name under heaven given to mankind which we must be saved only by the name of Jesus. Because of the blood that was shed at the cross of Calvary, through Jesus, mankind can achieve salvation, can experience salvation, and can become a new creation. According to 2 Corinthians 5.17, uh, uh, anyone in Christ is a new creation, all is gone, behold, he was come. As with you to uh, Uh, believe that the Lord is the only way for salvation because John 14 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus alone paved the way to bring us back to the Heavenly Father. He is the bridge from because we are separated because of our sins. Because of our sins. And as we remember, He is really there to give us, you know, uh, opportunity to get closer to the Father. Matthew 16, 19 says, whatever you bind on earth, you bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth, you lose in heaven. It is the only name of Jesus that genuine science wonders have been performed and been done all for the sake of bringing glory to God and, you know, expanding His kingdom on earth. You know, makikita po natin ito, mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, ng kapangyarihan, ng pangalan ng Panginoon sa Christo ay ating patuloy na maintindihan at may enjoy it right now. When we pray, we pray in the name of Jesus. 
in John 14, 13 to 14 says, And I will do whatever you ask my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son you may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. That's why in the end of our prayer, we use in the name, uh, this we pray in Jesus' name. This we pray in Jesus' name. So when you pray, you can use the name of Jesus. It adds power. It adds confidence. And when you're facing any form of darkness, speak the name of Jesus. Speak the name of Jesus. Believe. You know, the word of the Lord says, I have uh, Luke 10, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and overcome all the call of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Nothing will harm you. And any bondage of sins that, uh, you know, give you, make you a slave on it for many years. John 8, 30 says, if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. Any vices, any sins, separate us from the, the love of God. Uh, separate us from God's presence, God's peace. And when we use the name of Jesus and enjoy it, as you declare it, as you declare a healing to sick people, when you use the name of Jesus, be healed. When you use the name of Jesus, be healed. When speaking His name, trust and faith, He is our Savior. He's our deliverer, he's our redeemer. And remind ourselves of the many things, the attributes as uh, connected to the name of Jesus. He's our good shepherd. He's a, you have a high priest, you have the Emmanuel gathered with us. He, he have a provider for our needs. And also he's the prince of peace that gave us peace in times of anxiety and troubles. Patay na hihirapan. Patay yung mukhang nabibigo. Samanta, may, may pagkakataong minsan nalilimutan natin. There's power in the name of Jesus. And we need to enjoy that and use that for our advantage. Because we are believers of Jesus. We need to understand there's a power in the name of Jesus. There's a power in the name of Jesus. So we need to understand during problem times when trying to pray, we're trying to pray for the sick. When faced with temptation. Because in our weakness, strength is made perfect when facing temptation. When facing temptation, His name we can use to get stronger. Not only Jesus won the victory on the grave, but also through Christ and God breathed the entire world into His existence. Mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, hanginginan ka na ba? Gusto mo na mag-quit. Parang ayaw mo na. Parang kala mo lang ang pangyayari sa meron. Mahi-enjoy mo to. Mahi-enjoy mo ang pag-asa ng buha sa pangalan ng Panginoon sa Kristo. Maray ka bang katanungan? Maray ka bang hindi maintindihan? Nakasagutan? Sa pangalan ng Panginoon sa Kristo. Christ is the answer. He is our Master. We will serve Him as long as we live. We will serve Him as long as we live. Emmanuel, God is with us. Sa paglapit ng pag-alala ng kaparanakan ng ating tagapagdikta ng Messiah, as we think to look for things that we can give, offer Him as a gift, we serve Him. We give commitment. We win souls and make disciples in His name. We build a church, encourage and inspire people, and bless the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because we are all believers of the Mass. We will follow Him. We're not just a fan. We're a follower of Jesus. Follow of the Master. Follow the follower of our Redeemer, our Savior. And we will serve Him forever. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we want to thank you for today. Thank you for reminding us there's a power in the name of Jesus. Let's continue to combat this problem and science here on earth. Help us to understand there's power in the name of our Lord Jesus. Let's continue to use it for our advantage. When we pray, when we pray for the sick, when facing temptation, when facing troubles, when facing any difficulties in this world, help us to be reminded there is power beyond the name of Jesus. Speak forth His name. We give glory to His name. We bless the name of the Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you very much for watching our daily breath. This is Pastor Bird. Your daily birth. My Facebook friends around the world. God bless you. My brethren, believers, pastors all over the world. Thank you very much for watching. 
hope to see you soon. And this pandemic soon be gone. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. God bless. God is good all the time. He is faithful. He is great.